Good morning. It's another bright, beautiful, cloudy, gonna rain <laughs> day here in eastern North Carolina. There is weather coming. Uh, it allegedly going to get rain around 11, which is about a half an hour, maybe 12-ish. Who knows? Uh, I don't trust the weatherman at all. And looking at the radar, it's a bit dodgy. But uh, going on today, I'm going to try to get that uh, shade sail up, as it were. I've talked about this before. And uh, I'm going to move the potting bench back over there. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to place the potting bench right now. There's a lot to do before the potting bench even gets moved. Potting bench is over there. There. So I'm just going to get to work and uh, let's see what happens. You know, as I'm going around getting everything prepared for the project today, which I probably should have done beforehand, all I could find are these little cable ties. And I know I have bigger cable ties and I need the bigger cable ties. I just can't find the bigger cable ties. You ever have that problem? Not being able to find something that you need? Let's go cut some PVC pipe. That's a complete side note or sidetrack. I don't know if you could see this, but I got a bunch of bamboo stakes off Amazon for pretty cheap. And I put them around the rose garden here or portion of the rose garden that is pretty much complete ish. <laughs> and uh, I did that the other day. I hammered them all in and I hope this will deter the deer from coming and nibbling on my roses. We'll see. Okay, so now, I apologize for the wind noise. It is windy today and I could have worn a lapel mic, but it's also very warm and I was gonna be doing a lot of moving around and, and you don't care. Either way, I'm gonna take these PVC pipe uh, pieces that I cut down from 10 foot to eight foot and I'm gonna try to interweave them with the fence that borders between the vegetable garden and the rose garden and this is what I'm going to tie the shade cloth to that'll create the shady area that I'll be, be able to hopefully work under in the near future. Yeah, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants. If you haven't figured that out, not by now, watching this channel. <laughs> Theoretically, the plan, the idea is fairly solid. Um, execution? Let's get to work. All right, so you can see the two poles that are in place. I think they're pretty much where I want them. I'm gonna try to use some zip ties to secure them to the wood poles. And then I'm gonna see about possibly, yeah, stretching out the shape. You'll, we'll, I'm just gonna work, keep working. Poles are in place. Now I gotta try to stretch out the, the shade cloth and well, let's see how that goes. You're wondering why you see me twitching and slapping myself. It's because the deer flies are starting to come out. It's about that time of year. And the uh, females like to take uh, chunks of uh, skin out of you and you wind up bleeding. I just caught one that was biting me, but I don't think she pierced my skin. So the males, they, they go around to the flowers and they collect pollen. That's what they do. The females, they're the bitey ones. Sharp, bitey teeth. And they're big. And they're back to work.
I gotta be a plant in my basil soon. In my head, this worked differently. In my defense, it's, it's, it, the idea that's it's not really working. Not the way I thought in my head. I want to play around a bit more and see what we'll come up with. Okay, so after much pulling, stretching, paracord pulling, pole shifting, uh, yeah, it's not going to work. Two problems. Uh, one, the PVC piping that I have, it's eight foot tall. It is uh, leaning in too much, putting too much slack in the line. It's not as stiff as I thought it would be. That's my fault. Actually, all of this is my fault. But it ear... <laughs> I've called it quits for today. Again, the theory is sound. I just need to get stiffer poles, I think. Uh, and maybe not be trying to do this on such a windy day. That's the other problem is, is the wind. It keeps pulling the uh, shade cloth. And who knew the shade cloth would catch so much wind? Uh, I figured since it was very loose and holy, it would maybe not catch as much wind. But uh, this is 70% shade cloth, if I'm not mistaken. And I guess it's tightly woven enough that it does grab the wind. So we will stop that for today. Uh, I'm still going to do some cleanup. And then I'm going to bring, start bringing over the potting table because I still want to get that there. Uh, it won't hurt anything if I give this another attempt, which I probably will at some point in the future. I will just take the plants off of the potting table as, I'm, as much as I took the plants off of the a uh, little table that I had set up with the plants on it. Now, I have to try to figure out how I'm going to arrange all of this. I think I'm going to be going with the potting table sort of in the middle here. See right about there, in between the fence and the greenhouse. And then I have to think about YouTube because I have to decide which way I want to shoot the video, which I think I'll be shooting towards the greenhouse. So yeah, that's a whole thing. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the other table, if I'm gonna put it back up or not. I may not because I'm clearing off the potting table, planting a lot of stuff out. So there is actually quite a bit of space on there right now. There may, there actually should be plenty of space for the stuff that I moved off of the other one. So life is good. Plus I need, start, need to start getting some of that into the ground. Hopefully that'll happen in the next week or two. I'm just waiting on a delivery of uh, compost. Maybe two deliveries of compost. We'll see how Lowe's works. Uh, works. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for a stiffer pole, uh, I need something about eight foot tall. Please leave those comments below. I'm thinking maybe now maybe rebar. If I can get it eight foot long, I don't know. Ten foot would actually be fine because I can bang it into the ground uh, a foot or two. So rebar would be fine. That's something that just crossed my mind. But if you have any suggestions, please leave them below because... I kind of like this to work. This way I can go work in the shade for a good chunk of the day, uh, at least in the afternoons, you know, be somewhat in shade versus, um, you know, I can't work in the shade during the uh, afternoons over behind the garage because they get full, it gets full sun. So it gets really hot, actually starts getting full sun about 11 ish during the height of the summer. This should be mostly in shade for at least from 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning until uh, dusk ish. So yeah, that's, that's what I got to go with. Let me uh, finish cleaning this up and uh, we'll move on. Well, there it is. The table's in place. The pots are there. I'll go. I'll give you a close-up shot in a second. Uh, I did not get the shade cloth stretched out to act as a sunshade, 
the way I intended to. The whole idea of the poles, like I said earlier in the video, uh, didn't really pan out. It's a uh, very hot and humid day here. <laughs> but as you can see, um, in the back corner, I'm thinking about maybe putting a little, uh, maybe a 6x8 or 6x6 tool shed for the rakes and things like that, uh, shovels. Try to centralize a lot. And I always said from the beginning of building this garden that the vegetable garden was going to be sort of the cornerstone, the, key, the, the keystone to the entire garden. Everything was going to be based off of the dimensions, the size, and the location of the vegetable garden. Uh, again, I have the rose garden right next door. The flower garden is across the grand walkway. And again, I apologize for the wind noise today. It's very windy. So I'm going to try to edit a lot of that out with, with that. Let me give you a close-up of uh, some of what I've done. Okay, so along the greenhouse here, I have some pallets I'd cut down and I have a lot of the pots stacked upon uh, on them this will keep uh, some of the some critters off or out of them and there's about a two foot gap between that and the table again I may readjust this as time goes on we'll see there's a lot of plants plus the uh, potting like tub but there's a hibiscus that has to get planted. There's a Thulia green giant. There's, uh, what do we have here? Lemongrass, echinacea that needs to go out. The basil that needs to go into the ground. Peonies, cana, and then some pots that had um, bulbs in them. The flowers that you see in front of you are, I believe, Persian lilies. <laughs> And uh, my wife picked out three different colors that she liked. They're quite expensive. But uh, hopefully I'll get them into the ground soon as well in the, uh, let's do a close up on that, in the flower garden. Now there is a gap between the table. Oh, and this uh, pail right here, that will be used maybe for compost in the future. Something I can put, uh, compost in and then just dig it dig it out and put it into the uh, potting tub as it were uh, various tub trugs and of course in front of the greenhouse there we have the uh, pots of flowers over on this side there's quite a bit of space like I said I hope maybe in this back corner I'll wind up putting a shed in the future not right now because everything's so expensive uh, these wood chips will obviously get moved as well. I've been chipping away at them. Get it? Wood chips chip chipping away. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I may wind up spreading them. Piece of cardboard that came from someplace that's flapping around underneath the bench here. Uh, again, I'm not sure. Maybe in time, I'll wind up just paving the whole area. We'll see. Various other knickknacks and doodads and thingamabobs and of course um, some uh, compost and soil conditioners and I have pallets on this side to keep all of that off the ground again to keep uh, some of the critters that like to go underneath and nestle and underneath them out. The project for the day was to move the potting table and set up the shade. The shade cloth act as a sail, a shade sail as it were. Uh, so that I can work underneath in the shade when it's when the sun is out and it's broiling and cooking my brain That part of the day sort of failed Moving the potting table and, and trying to do a little bit of reorganizing and getting a lot of these pots Sorted and again now I can love the pots right behind the potting bench It'll be just grab and grow grab and go And it'll be more convenient in the long term. I hope also, when I'm done potting something up, and if it needs to go into the greenhouse, the greenhouse is right here. I don't have to walk across the driveway. What's that, 50, 60 feet? It's not a big deal, but again, I'm right here. Keep it, keeping everything together makes more sense. And again, if I move the tools, the shovels and the spades and the forks and the rakes from the garage, and I put them into a little shed back here, I think that will also work out well in the future. Again, sort of centralizing everything. I, if I need a rake, I can grab it, go out the front to the uh, flower garden or off to the side to the rose garden. And everything is just, again, more centralized. 
that's gonna wrap it up for today. I am tired. It has been a crazy day. Really hot, really windy. If you wanna help support the channel, please check out all the links below. I know if you're watching it on the computer, YouTube has been hiding them. If you're watching it on a mobile device, uh, I know it's a little difficult to get to, but give it a try. Check out those links. Maybe pick yourself up a t-shirt, a mug, or if you want, if you like the music I use in the videos, please check out Epidemic Music. The link is below. If you subscribe, I get a month for free. Also, I have Amazon affiliate links. I get a small commission from those if you wind up clicking on any of those links and picking up uh, a camera, a book, a garden tool, any of the links that I have below. I'm on Instagram someplace. <laughs> Uh, if you don't have Instagram and you want to see some of the stuff that I do post up on Instagram, if you go to growingagreenfinger.com, scroll to the very bottom of the page, there are photos there from Instagram that get posted up. So you can click on them, look at them. Uh, again, you don't have to be subscribed to Instagram if that's not your thing. Almost signed off without telling you the last thing. Monday. Monday we're going to be doing the uh, late spring tour of the, uh, of the whole garden. And I'll show you what's new, what's changed, what's happening. Uh, it might be a two-parter because, again, the garden is growing. Things are happening. But uh, we'll see uh, what happens uh, come Monday. But Monday will be the late spring garden tour. And, again, we'll go around the whole garden. So if you're into that kind of thing, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to be notified. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.